We're here at the Bellfront Project today, and I'm here with community CEO Jonathan Frazier. Thanks for joining me today. So tell me a little bit about the building we're standing here in front of today. Well, thank you for having us, and welcome to Bellfront. So now we have a 40-bed psychiatric residential treatment facility for the uh, the city of uh, Ashland, the, the city of Russell, for the for the area. And this is important that 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 you guys get a sneak peek of what's going on inside of here. Okay, we're excited. Let's let's go on in. Right, come on, come on. Okay, so there's lots of construction happening here. So what room is this? This is the cafeteria. Um, we'll be able to serve all our meals here for all 40 of our residents, as well as this will substitute as a multimedia site to where we can uh, have some recreation, watch some movies, and even have larger groups, as well as bring uh, guest speakers in for mental health uh, support and uh, uh, discharge uh, continuity of care. So we're excited about the fact that we were able to create a facility that was multi-purpose to suit the needs of, of the patients that we serve. Well, let's keep going. Come on. So we have our ad, this is our admin hallway. Again, you, you'll see that we'll have our, you know, that'll be my office as well as our, our senior leadership. But, you know, again, with Belfort, the, the great component about that is we want to be available to you where you're at, right? So there's a lot of things at play when, it, when you talk about being accessible. Even as a CEO, the expectation is that we're on the unit, modeling behavior, helping those that are in need. So now we're in the patient's access area. This is a restricted area that will only be viable for patients and qualified clinical staff. This is where treatment, this is where there uh, will occur, this is where their everyday interaction with, with qualified professionals will start. When we designed this, we wanted to keep the integrity of the previous uh, architecture, but as well as add the component. Um, people, uh, uh, the staff that we have that helps, are available Stand right here right here on site okay so we're gonna walk in and this is the one of the group rooms right group room slash um, our therapist office again that's so important that our therapists are accessible right so if you're in crisis if you are in need if you need to talk to somebody your therapist is right across the hallway traditionally in hospitals a therapist is on the admin wing or, yeah. or, or a way that you have to make appointments or no a phone longer. call away right right no longer we want to we want to reduce the, that, those barriers so your therapist will be accessible to you when you need them. And these rooms just feel so comfortable. I think so much we, I mean people think psychiatric especially, you think of just very sterile environment, but this doesn't feel like that at all. Wow, thank you. And that's attributed to those that worked on this Belfont project. They kept in mind that we are all people. We're just one choice away from being in a crisis. So if I'm in a crisis, I want to be in a place that reminds me of home, feels like home home, right? And has and I have an opportunity to share my thoughts, um, my issues with those that really care. So now we're standing here in one of the bedrooms. So it looks like two people per room? Mm -hmm, two per room. This is unfurnished at the time, so please excuse the dust and the mess from Still construction. Still under construction. Right. But this is the, uh, the bones of it. There will be two beds. Um, all the beds will be brand new. Everything in this room will be brand new. Um, it'll be, uh, the amenities will be personalized, so you know, uh, um, for, for their, for their uh, accommodations. You know, a state-of-the-art bathroom, uh, brand new, that is that is deemed safe by our uh, regulatory uh, compliance entities, and we again we we took the opportunity to put our money where our mouth is. We invested in top-of-the-line equipment, top-of-the-line supplies. This was a top-of-the-line renovation. So obviously, we've gone through this building now. So exciting! When are we expecting to have this open? So we want the building to be open around the end of 2023. It's important that we meet that deadline and and so that we can provide that service for the community and and without the community this would have never been possible well thank you for walking me thank through you. this today we're excited for it to be open thank you